He's getting embarrassed today. Okay. He's received many platinum and gold records for his work. He's had a number one chart success in songs all across the world, including Cliff Richards, Millennium Prayer. Does anybody remember Millennium Prayer? Yeah. This guy composed it. Can you believe it? He's here with us tonight, guys. We're so, so privileged to have him here tonight. So thank you for coming along. I'd like you to give a big acoustic night at the barn. Welcome to Paul Phil.
be afraid to tread where the wounds of war are made. She's stepping over the helpless and the weak in the wreckage of their lives. Cold rain running down her cheek. That's the tears from God's own eyes. She whispers mercy. Where are you? When will justice come? Not till we all live in hope and peace.
singer-songwriter, such an amazing voice, and just to hear the, the art of songwriting. I mean, I did my first tour 50 years ago. I was 18 when I went out and started playing. And uh, I have spent a lot of time in the States, and I spent a lot of time working in Nashville. I worked in Nashville for several years. And um, the weird thing is, when I went to Nashville for the first time, I hated country music. <laughs> <laughs> and I was signed by EMI to write country and gospel music. The thing is, you can't live, you can't survive in Nashville with <laughs> country music. <laughs> so I have come to love it. I love the way they tell stories, which I've always, you know, my songs, for me, it's so much is about lyric. And the stories are great. I love the fact that, and this is the old boy, and I, and I have to apologise to you for that wonderful, pure voice singing. Now you've got this old boy croaking at you for an hour. So I'll do my best. But Nashville also has some of the best song titles, which I love. Songs like, I Still Miss You, Baby. But my aim's getting better. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, I think the same person probably wrote, How can I miss you when you won't go away? <laughs> <laughs> you're, the kid, you're the reason our kids are so ugly. <laughs> so, so also, country gossip is good too. Drop kick me Jesus through the goalposts of life. <laughs> And, and this one, this is quite cerebral, you have to think about this. If the phone don't ring, you'll know it's me. <laughs> this is about as country as I ever get, really. The other good thing about country, it's really easy to play, isn't it? Cool. Actually, it's not true, they play really simple stuff, they play it perfectly. That's what's amazing about it. Comfort and console me, you made each rock and roll me. Miss me and you hold me, like no one else can do. Lock me up and free me, close your eyes and see me. You know how it feels to be me, all I want. Hurt me and you heal me. You hide you only feel me. You shuffle me and deal me. You make and break my heart. Follow and you lead me. Doubts and you believe me. You know how it feels to be me. We'll be just counterpart. You're my bright new morning. You're my midnight star. You're on my wings, your strings on my guitar. You're the ocean in the moonlight, and my love's mysterious heart. You're the guardian of my dreams, you're the keeper of my heart. You're the guardian of my dreams, you're the keeper of my heart. And every twist and turn We celebrate our best attempts Learn from our mistakes I hope the love we give Is always more than what we take You're my guide in the morning You're my midnight star You're my boots and you're my wings You're the strings on my guitar You're the ocean in the night You're the keeper of my heart. You're the guardian of my 
dreams Will the truth of my heart Will the guardian of my dreams Will the keeper of my
Yeah, as I said, I've had um, 50 years of rock and roll life, and now I've settled down in a little house on the edge of Dartmoor in Devon. I grow my own vegetables, and I have two grandchildren. And this is for my granddaughter. Don't ask me why I don't have one for the other one yet, but there's still time. There's still time. Child of my child, daughter of my son This fragile miracle of life begun You've been waiting in the wings Now this is your chance Gentle, wise and strong, and sure enough, and make kindness always be your guide in everything. Oh, Amelia, it's time for you to sing. This is your moment. Beautiful girl, you'll learn how it feels to win sometimes, how it can hurt to fail. Child of my child, daughter of my son This precious gift made by what love has done May the world tread lightly On all the hopes and dreams you find
23 years ago uh, for a, you know, it was part of a musical. And I kind of wrote it, we did a musical, and I never recorded it until now on the Politics of Kindness album, and I've forgotten about it, but let's hope I don't forget it now, I might be. It's very, very difficult, you know, for us singers, very out of practice. And what you become aware of, you may not, you maybe have sung more than me, but, you know, the voice is a muscle, and if you don't exercise it, I'm not sure I'm going to make it for the next half hour. I've got to play twice more this week. It's just, I suppose I should practice, but say in 50 years I've never been very good at rehearsing, so. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere else. 
far away as possible. <laughs> I um, have done two projects over, over the last 15 years to do with human trafficking. It's been a big thing uh, for me, both in association with Hull University. Uh, you probably know Hull is the home of Wilberforce, so there's a very strong association with that. And I could go on about it for a long time, but one of the strap lines of the project was it's not just history, it's happening now. Mm. And it is, I mean, it's, it's obvious. We can see, you know, in our own shores, in our own cities, our own towns, people, children, women being trafficked for sex, trafficked as domestic slaves, it goes on and on, very different from the slave trade of 200 plus years ago, but, but slavery nonetheless. It is slavery, and it's very hard to stop. This is just a song from that project, and it's just two stories. into bright new day His promise for a future that was ringing in her ears She left her world behind and walked away She was afraid he wouldn't be there Oh, but he was right on time But there was something in his smile wasn't right. He seemed stressed out and uneasy, and as he pushed her into the car, she heard the door slam shut behind her life. When they all came tumbling down, when the promises turned. Freedom. Just 
first wife because I think it's important to keep her kind of, you know, on its own as I think. Um, and no, if she was here tonight I wouldn't dare have said that. <laughs> Remember you're on live stream Paul. What's that? Remember you're on live stream. Oh Lord. <laughs> she doesn't know that. I won't tell her if you don't. She's as fit as a fiddle, doesn't smoke, doesn't drink, eats an almost vegan diet, is thin. I'm the opposite, I do all the wrong things, you know, let's not go into that. So she gets a blocked artery as a stent. Then she gets breast cancer, two operations, goes through that. Then, before Christmas, she broke her ankle in eight places. This is a scene of Meccano that went into that. It's an amazing bit. Surgery. She's on the mend from everything. She clears the cancer. The ankle is just starting to get better. But you know, it's very hard to watch someone you love and you feel really helpless going through all that stuff. And uh, so this, yeah, this is for my wife.
each other through time and again. Of the dreamer and poet, the lover and friend, there are still more mountains to climb. They're waiting somewhere between. Between your heart and mine, bridges grow strong with the passing of time. Years roll away on a precious lifetime. Live somewhere between your heart and mine. I was very fortunate because, I mean, he was in a care home, like four hours drive from where I live. But I was able to be with him as he passed. And that was a privilege, to actually be there beside him. And this, this probably sounds really cheesy, but it was really cheesy, but I was playing him. I mean, he, he was not really conscious, but the same last thing that goes is your hearing. So I was playing him Elgar, and then I was sitting and Noodling, it's a technical term, <laughs> musicians have for the guitar. Playing as he died. And this was the little figure I was playing. You breathe your final breath, cross the line from life to death. A disappearing star. I like to think I played you into heaven. The music. 
music that was part of you and became a part of me. Our sanctuary and rest. Oh, I like to think I played you into heaven. Oh, what a life you lived. You will be remembered well as a kind and gentle man. Oh, what stories we could tell of the lives you touched along the way. Kindness that you gave, the grace notes that you wrote for us. On life's eternal stave, you like to think I played you into heaven. I like to think I played you into heaven. He spent a lot of years as an artist. This is not me trying to get the bus. I like what I know what I'm doing. I've been in the business 50 years. <laughs> you can spend a lot of time as an artist trying to be what people want you to be. I did plenty of that in my past. In, in, in the songs that I tried to write, you know, to try to have hits, to try and write songs for other people. And also the way you behave with people sometimes. You, know, you try and you want to please people. I mean, let's face it, if you're an artist, if you stand up here, you do it because firstly, you want to show off a little bit because you have a skill, you have a talent and you want people to love what you do. It's only natural. As I get older, as I've got older, I've reached the point where <laughs> I actually don't care so much what people think of me. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I mean, about, I don't know, a month ago, I did a photographic session. I mean, really. really. <laughs> I'm way beyond that. I've got some great photos of me when I was young and, and handsome. Then, now, the last thing I want is someone taking my photo, you know. But, yeah, another bit of advice is don't explain what a song's about. Because if you explain what it's about, and why bother to sing it? You know, let the song speak. I can remember what key it's in. Um... <laughs> I'm 
Sometimes that's easy, sometimes it's hard, some days I'm ready, some days I'm off guard. But I can put on a brave face and wear the disguise, cause I know how to smile when I'm crying inside. I'm too good for the sins, I'm too bad for the sins. But it's no use pretending to be something I ain't Spent too much of my life Trying to be someone else Now I'm spending the rest just being myself So I'll try and be righteous, I'll try and be good, but my best intentions get misunderstood. I thought getting older would make me more wise, still hasn't happened as hard as I try. Still too good for the sinners, still too bad for the sinners. It's no use pretending to be something I ain't. I swear to me to my life, trying to be someone else. Now I'm spending the rest just being myself. Spent too much of my life. Try to be someone else Now I'm spending the rest Just being myself Now I'm spending the rest Just being myself Just being myself This is a strange, this is a song <laughs> that should have been a Christmas hit for somebody <laughs> in lockdown. The problem was, I only wrote it about a week before Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> My timing wasn't great. <laughs> uh, I put this up on Facebook, where it was a stream YouTube, and I Within a few days, I had about 40,000 views of it, and it was just a completely rough demo. But it struck a chord for people who were facing Christmas with lockdown ahead. Now, I know we're not out of the pandemic woods yet, and even this Christmas was a bit strange, but if you think back to our first Christmas in lockdown, that's when I wrote this. <laughs> be a strange Christmas this year With unwelcome decorations of uncertainty and fear Our tables laid with loneliness, uncertainty and fear Gonna be a strange Christmas this year
Cause I wanna see the faces behind the masks we have to wear I wanna shake some hands, see the smiles we need to share To wish each other all the best for the year that is to come but all those good intentions for now have come undone So it'll be a strange Christmas this year It's pretty hard to talk about the season of good cheer Still we hold on to our dreams and we hope and persevere It's gonna be a strange Christmas this year Cause I wanna see my family And tell them how I miss The wonder of a human touch The magic of a kiss I want to hold my grandchildren To read and sing them songs This painful separation Just feels completely wrong Stumbling through the dark, we long to dance into the lights. This lockdown of our lives is a chain that holds us tight. We need a star to follow, we need to be released. This year, more than ever, we need the Prince of Peace. Stumbling through the dark, we long to dance into the light. This lockdown of our lives, like a chain that holds us tight. Oh, we need a star to follow, we need to be released. This Christmas, more than ever. God knows we need the Prince of Peace This year more than ever Now we need the Prince songwriting, I mean, music has changed unimaginably since I began to work in it, and, uh, but I still love a song with a lyric and a great voice and delivered with passion. It doesn't rely just on a beat, and, but the words don't matter, they do matter. And uh, probably because, um, it's probably nothing to do with my talent, but my age. Over the years, more recently, I've done a lot of, um, well, quite a lot of kind of songwriting workshops. And I even lectured in songwriting at Bath Spa University on a master's degree course in songwriting. <laughs> I mean, people, what a waste of time that is for really. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you. Can you but, no, I mean, can you imagine, you know, you're a song, you know, it doesn't matter what songs you've written, you go to, Whoever you go to, you know, um, Adele, 
I say, listen, I've written this great song, you should do this. I've got a master's degree in songwriting. <laughs> I mean, that's going to work, isn't it? <laughs> but I was doing a workshop one time. I'll show you how songwriters' mind works. And uh, I had everybody off trying to write a lyric. So I'm going around the room uh, trying to be helpful and trying to pretend I knew what I was doing. The lad in the corner, and he's looking like really stuck, you know, chewing his pencil, and staring into space in a songwriting fashion. <laughs> and I, I'm like, I said, how's it going? And he said, well, he said, I've got a great first line, but I can't get any further. And, you know, we know what that's like. You know. We can all have a great beginning. It's just the middle and the end. It's <laughs> I said, okay. I said, well, tell me what your first line is. I'll see if I can help. And he read off his paper, his pad. I've bought a brand new duffel coat. <laughs> I really think it's great. But I can't get any further. <laughs> I, I didn't know. I tried to take it very seriously, you know. I said, well, maybe what you should do is find a rhyme for the end of the line first, and then sort of fill it in. He looked a bit worried, and then he got the idea. He said, oh, you mean a rhyme for uh, great, like wait, or date, or mate, or fate? I said, yeah, maybe more than one syllable would be nice if you can get it in. You know, illustrate, illuminate, um, hesitate, fascinate. And fascinate, that's a nice word. Because you have to think, as a songwriter, what it's going to sound like when you sing it. And that will sing beautifully, that word. And he looked even more worried. <laughs> and I went away, left him to it. Came back three hours later. <laughs> and he's sitting there looking so pleased with himself. And I was very hesitant. I, I sort of <laughs> fear in my heart. <laughs> and I went up to him and said, oh, how's it gone? And he said, it's a hit! He said, it's the best thing I've ever written. I said, really? I can't, I can't wait to hear it. So he went off his pad. I bought a brand new duffel coat. I really think it's great. It's got ten toggles down the front, but I can only fascinate. <laughs> This song began, I was going somewhere on a gig or whatever, and for whatever reason I didn't have the sat nav or it, it wasn't working. It was dark, it was raining, I was late. I was on the motorway lay by, where I shouldn't have been really, you know. But fortunately, scrabbling around in the back of my car, I found this crusty old thing that apparently we used to call a map. <laughs> it's, it's what people used to use in the old days <laughs> to find their way from one place to another. So, so I was struggling to work out how to read this thing and where the USB port was. <laughs> <laughs> and this line came to me, and it bugged me. For days afterwards, this one line, I couldn't get any further. And, to, and so there was one day, I don't remember exactly what happened, but Suddenly, it all pulled out. Really, it, suddenly it was there. That's unusual for me. I usually take a very long time. But, um, as I say, I, I've had a long and checkered journey as a songwriter and musician. And, Aurora, I just wish you all the best in the world. Yeah. You have the talent. It's not a question of that. But, uh, sadly, my experience tells me talent isn't always enough. should be. Just, you know, bless you and everything you're doing. And thank you all for coming and listening. Thank you, Alan, for inviting me. I should have been here before lockdown, so it's um, better late than never, I hope. But um, <clears throat> as I say, this, yeah, again, was one line and 
Can we get the rest of it as well? It's, it's called Small Town. Oh, I should plug the albums. I'm plugging the albums. They're over there. <laughs> 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 small town somewhere on the map of my heart it's the hardest place to find because the signs aren't clear and the road is dark but its name is peace of mind it's such a hidden location nobody's sure if it's miles away or just down the line one destination we're all looking for a town called peace of mind one more weary pilgrim with a tale to tell one more dreamer walking the line one more traveler searching for a vacant hotel in a town called peace of mind I remember a young man a long time ago wearing all of the hope he could find more than 50 years later I'm still on the road still looking for peace of mind I've met false alarms disappointment and tears and I've lost my way so many times still I hope to arrive before I run out of here town called peace of mind one more weary pilgrim still believing in grace in a world that's cruel and unkind i'm still looking for a refuge and a resting place in a town called peace of mind while some tell me i'm crazy doesn't exist I'm only wasting my time oh, but still I continue still I persist in looking for peace of mind still I continue still I persist in looking for peace a small town called Peace of Mind. Thank you. Yeah. 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 All right, Paul, let's invite you. I'm, I'm too old to walk all the way over there and then walk away. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do one more on condition that you... Um, Buy me you... albums. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You must be a double act. And, uh, do, do you do one of the things that I know audiences hate. There's two words that audiences hate. And that's audience... Participation. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. oh you don't? Oh, good. Really good. She's... Okay, well, we've got two singers in the front then. Oh, yeah. Can we go up? <laughs> Actually, yes. 
There is a bit for you to sing, but it's a serious song, and it's a song I've been reminded of, particularly because of what's happening in Ukraine. I worked for some years, I think one of the words is pressing. I worked for some years with an amazing German band, a seven-piece rock band. It was my rock and roll days. It was kind of leather trousers, a whole bit. You should see the photos. It's scary. <laughs> We played all kinds of places around Europe, uh, including a few times we played in Berlin. And I played in Berlin before the war came down, in 1988, 6, 7, 8, I guess. And that's when I wrote this. And then I went back, we went back again after the war had come down, which was amazing. <coughs> so this is, what, 88, 89, that's a long time ago. People probably weren't even born. <laughs> 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 but um, if this, you know, then it's to me, it's so relevant now. I mean, this is my prayer, our prayer for the mess of the world that we live in now. Sometimes when I'm sleeping. I hear the distant guns and I shiver to the coldness of their voice and I run to hold my son so peacefully asleep and I hope to God he lives to have a trust for I have seen the tanks and bombers and hands shining in the sun Measured out the peace we keep in megatons I've listened to the wisdom of the mighty and the meek And I hear the business interests run to every lying word they speak For the world Oh, 